welcome. Here's a puzzle about my fondness for the number 3. The number 3 itself certainly contains the digit 3, but its double is 6. It doesn't contain the digit 3. Um, 153, however, contains the digit 3, and its double is 306, contains the digit 3. But unfortunately, its triple, which is what, 918, doesn't contain the digit 3. You can probably guess what game I'm going to play. Uh, and it's 1153. Uh, its double is 2306. Yep, there's the 3 at the beginning, 3 in this double. There's also 3 in its triple. It's 3459. Unfortunately, you can check its quadruple doesn't contain the digit 3. All right, I can get pretty good with this because if I look at a number like uh, 65913, and you can double check me on this, double it, triple it, quadruple it, all the way up to 10 times that number, each of those contain the digit 3. Unfortunately, my luck runs out at 11n. So I was starting to wonder, can I do even better? And I can. In fact, I'm pretty chuffed with this number. n equals 19507893. If you check, it's double, it's triple, all the way up to 25 times that number. Each of those multiples contain the digit 3. Unfortunately, my luck runs out at 26. So the question is, can I find the best number n of all? Is there a number n such that it contains the digit 3, its double contains the digit 3, its triple, its quadruple, in fact, all the way up? Is there a perfect number n, given my predilection of number 3, so that's that each multiple, each and every multiple, contains the digit 3? How's that for very scrawly writing? What's new with my videos? All right, is there a perfect number n such that it and every possible multiple of it contains the digit 3? That's the puzzle, and I'm going to give away the answer. In fact, I'll clear the screen and give the answer. You might want to pause and think about this. Can you find me a number that's so good that it works every single time? Every multiple contains the digit 3. Or prove it to me and make me sad that no such number exists. So here goes, starting to clear the screen. So you might want to pause the video, like I said. Pause, pause, pause away, because the screen's soon to be clear. About to give away the answer. Do, 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 do. All right, screen is clear. Did you pause? Well, I won't really know, will I? Okay, so here's the puzzle. Is there a perfect number n such as it and 2n and 3n and 4n, all the multiples? So all multiples, each of them contains the digit 3. All right, so let's answer this question. Let's suppose I found a perfect number such as it and all its numbers, all its multiples are 3, 4, contain the 3. And let's examine, let's do something a bit weird. I'm going to examine an infinite sequence of all the rep units, all the num numbers whose digits are nothing but 1. So 1, 11, 111, 1,111, all and so on. So here's an infinite sequence of all the rep units. I'm probably miscounting my 1s now, but it goes infinitely far. And this is related because what I'm going to do is divide each of these numbers in this infinite sequence by whatever number I think I've got. So if I think about the number n that works, just divide everything by n. And if I do this, these are going to leave some remainders. Maybe this guy, when I divide by n, leaves a remainder of 5. Maybe one further along leaves a remainder of 17, and so on. Uh, maybe one later on gives me a remainder of 0. Actually, that won't happen. Can you tell me? Can you see why? Why won't I get a remainder of 0? Anyhow, it doesn't matter. But here's the trouble. There's only a finite number of possible remainders. I get a remainder of 0, or 1, or 2, or 3, up to n minus 1, 1 less than number. There's only a finite number of possible remainders, and I'm doing this for an infinite number of numbers. So there's got to be some repeater remainders. That is, somewhere along the line, one of these numbers is a remainder r, and later on, I get another number with the same remainder. There has to be a repeater remainder somewhere when I play this game. All right, let's look at these two rep units. That is, I've got a whole bunch of ones. There's a remainder of r, this guy, and I have a smaller bunch of ones. There's a remainder of r as well. If I take that difference, if I subtract them, I get a number that has a whole bunch of looks like a whole bunch of ones. Don't how many there are, followed by a whole bunch of zeros. Now, this is r more than a multiple of n. This is r more than a multiple of n, and that difference, if you think about it, has a remainder of zero upon division by n. The odd, the one, odd ones that wouldn't divide have just cancelled out. So that tells me this guy has a remainder of zero upon division by n. Another way of saying that, this guy is a multiple of n. Oh dear. Because that means this guy is a multiple of n, therefore appears in this list. And this list is hopefully going to be a number n, such that it and all its multiples has the digit 3. This has no digit 3. My hope of finding a number that's going to work all the way through is out of dash, because I've just proven any number n has to have a multiple of the form 1111000, or not contain a 3. 
So any number thing that's going to work is wrong because any multiple num any multiple for any number n there is a multiple that doesn't contain a three. Oh, my hopes are dashed. Uh, by the way, by the way, just for fun, um, if I played this game with not the uh, rep units but the rep digits with threes everywhere, that's I know was a was a good marker. Three thirty three 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 and so on. If I play the exact the same trick, there's got a repeater rem remainder somewhere. That is, I'm going to play the same game. Basically, I proved there is a multiple somewhere in the list that's nothing but threes and zeros. So that's interesting. Uh, for any number n, if I give you an n, there is some multiple that contains a three. Okay, but unfortunately, there's also a multiple that doesn't contain a three, which is ruining what I wanted. <sighs> All right. Okay, so my big dreams are dashed, but how about I ask for a weaker version of my dreams? And that is my next puzzle for you. And I'm going to go as follows. Let me explain what I mean. So we saw that uh, n equals, uh, was it 65913 was pretty good because it gave me a run of 10. 3n up to 10n, each of a multiple 3. And n equals 19507893 was pretty good because it gave me a run of 25. So I'm going to ask, if I tell you how long I want a run to be, maybe I want a run of 100, could I find a number n that in fact gives me a run of 100? Or any, you know, maybe a run of 1,000 or a run of 1,022. So here's my puzzle for you. For each number k, is there a number n so that each of n, 2n, up to kn, contains the digit 3. Okay, appalling handwriting. I'm surprised I don't get more complaints about it in these videos. Is there a number, for each number k, is the number n that gives me a run of length k? That is, you tell me how long you want the run to be, can I find you a number n that's going to give me a run of that length? For example, if someone said they wanted a run of 25, I would tell them n equals 19507893 would work for you. That'll give you a run of 25. Or if someone wants just a run of 10, I'll give the number n equals 65913. That gives a run of 10. Actually, this also gives a run of 10. It actually gives more than a run of 10, but you know, I could have used it there. If someone says they want a run of 1,022, can I find a number n that works? So the question is, given any uh, length they want, can you, can you devise to me a scheme that's going to be for sure to find me a run of that length? I'll give you the answer. The answer is yes. Crazy. And let me give you a hint of how you might want to go about that answer. Because I actually, the reason I mentioned those um, rep digits of threes before is actually that is my hint. We managed to show that for each of the numbers, oh, where's my pentagon? One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. There is a multiple of it that contains a three. For example, three is a multiple of one that contains a three. Uh, 36 is a multiple of 2 that contains a 3. I'll probably do better than that. Um, a 3 is a multiple of 3 that contains a 3. Um, what's a multiple of 4 that contains a 3? Oh gosh. Um, uh, ooh, what am I having trouble? 300. There we go. Uh, multiple of 5 that contains a 3. 300. Multiple of 6 that contains a 3. 300. We managed to prove that each number has a multiple of 3 that contains, it has a multiple that contains a 3. So my trick to you, if I want to go up to say k, can I somehow string these numbers together in some way to prove a number n, find a number n, so n, 1n, 2n, 3n, and so on, up to kn, each contain the digit 3. That is, can I utilize the fact that um, the multiple of 2 is, has a, contains a 3? All right, that's a very vague hint. It's going to take some deep thinking. And if you get really frustrated about this, whoops, cancel, excuse me. I'm going to suggest you email me. And my email's on my website, tantum.math at gmail.com. I'd be happy to chat with you by email if you want some help with this puzzle. It's a cool puzzle. Can you construct for me a number n for any number k such that n, 2n, up to kn has a digit 3? It can be done. That was nice. Gave you the answer. Um, but how? All right, fun little puzzle. That's about liking my threes. Um, anything special about the number three here? No, I could like my sevens just as much or my nines. Or I could do another base, perhaps. All right, thanks so much.